Right there, so we're putting on the side skirts. And I came up with an ingenious idea of sticking them on first and then drilling the holes to put the rivets in. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a really subtle difference. But a difference nonetheless. And I've also just taken off the rear bumper to put the new diffuser, as you can see here. So yeah, there's that there. So we've got to cut the exhaust pipes to put the extenders on, chrome exhaust, drop the exhaust a little bit as well so it fits properly. And that's it, but cutting the exhaust is going to be an issue, I think. Oh, here. Yeah. We'll figure something out. But for now, got to do the other side as well. Alright, back in a bit. Here, another top gear top tip is to use the rear jacket point so then you can actually drill all the holes in the correct places for the side skirt. So if you use the front, then you're going to block two of them. So yeah, so we be done in a sec. It's about 10 minutes, if that. Hey. So at this point in the process, we were having loads of trouble trying to fit the rivets into the hole because the actual rivet was too long. And even with the drill going as far as it could possibly go, the rivets just literally were not going in. So in the end, we decided to just trim them if they weren't fit in and it's still quite flush. And I doubt it's gonna go anywhere. So this is virtually done. You can see the skirts. Look at this side. Bang bang. This little colour coordination, symmetry. Yeah. Alright, so we're on to the last bit. Gotta trim the exhaust 120 millimeters. And that's so when we put on the extenders and the new exhaust tips it pokes out enough because at the moment it gets a bit lost with the new diffuser on. So we've got this weird tool which I've never seen before but apparently it cuts metal. It's mad. Do you know the name of it? Exhaust pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technical term. It says on a bag then. It's a pipe. Just a chain pipe. pipe God knows, I've never seen that before ever. It looks like something out of saw. Um, so yeah, hopefully that works. Once that's off we'll be able to fit the new diffuser. And away we go, all done, all in one day. How long does it take? We start at uh, half 11? About 11. Yeah. Time is about quarter past three now, so not too bad. This way we're at at the moment. We've cut the one exhaust off, it looks ugly. That still looks ugly. Here are the old tip, these black things. It's just secured on with those little clamps in there. But yeah, now we're gonna put the extender on with the new tips, fit the last bit of the diffuser, then it's done, the whole kit done in one day. What are you saying? Mad, 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 mad. What a long day, it's getting dark now as well. Yes, doggy. Yeah, getting dark, so we haven't got long. I'm trying to smash it all out. But it has been an experience. <laughs> a mad, mad, mad experience. Um, almost done, so yeah, we'll catch up in a sec. One extender on, so that's what it should look like. If you have a look at this, another one here, if I can get out of the box. So, tighten this end up, so you see the little gap, so it should close when you put this on it, the clamp. Close it up on the exhaust, put the other end, just to show you how it looks. So this goes, there's the end, little M mark on there. And there. And it goes all the way to the end. Hopefully you can see that. In like that. And it's all good to go. Then you can put the diffuser on. And it's done. So, let's get it done, isn't it? Mm. That is on there. That is not going anywhere, that. Good news, good news. 
wicked. So, you need to put some primer, which they give you in the kit, luckily, on the fresh metal to make sure it doesn't corrode. We've got a technical piece of equipment to apply the paint with as well. It's really expensive, this is. It's called, uh, it's called Plenty. Should hopefully stop it from rusting. Chuck this on. There you go, so it's just a little bit too shallow. We're gonna get a deep one because the last thing we want is having these stainless steel tips flying down the road at 60, 70 miles an hour. Yeah, that's an insurance claim waiting to happen, isn't it? But we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Gotta go up here. Um, um, it's there, it's not yeah. falling off now, and when it's only got the screws in the bottom. Yeah. It'll, there. <laughs> It'll only be this bit that hangs off. Yeah. Where's the um screws? Yeah. At this point we're discussing how much we want the exhaust to stick out. We ended up just adjusting the exhaust extenders to make sure that the exhausts poke out just enough rather than being lost behind the diffuser. And there it is. Completed. Oh my god. All it needs is the last little bit which is the M performance stickers on the side and it's done then booked in for wheels next week lights next week as well they're gonna get smoked oh yeah buddy I like it buzzing yeah so it's getting dark now as you can see but the kit's done we got the full thing all on the spoiler the diffuser, the tips, the side skirts, the grill, the flipping front splitter. It's all done. It's getting a bit dark now, but I'll drive around the park, see if I can get you some nice little shots. If not, thank you for watching. Press the like button, subscribe, drop a comment below if you'd like to know if you're fitting one and you're stuck. If you want to know any tips and stuff like that, just give me a shout. I know it hasn't been very instructional, but at least you can see what we've done, follow the journey. But there'll be more videos, this is almost there, but not quite. We've got a few more tricks up our sleeve. So yeah, thank you for watching. Peace.